So here we are, we're at Billabana Holden Paddock. Um, this is where we're starting from today. We bought these cattle from uh, River Bore and Junction, put in this little paddock overnight. Two of the blokes, Chris and Noel, already heading into the paddock. Come up behind them, just hold them at the gate. Dylan, Ted and myself are waiting at the gate. Bob is somewhere. Um, this is our plant. Well, well, not our plant. People call their horses their plant. This is our little thing. This is a little Suzuki Sierra buggy. She's got a bit of bar work on her. She, um, they've got little buggies. These ones very efficient on fuel. Very easy to have uh, go along with a mob of cattle. They stay nice and cool, um, which is pretty important with a buggy. Can't have a bastard overheating all the time. This is a bit of a rough little buggy, this one. These are good little buggies. They, um, a lot of people think they can't deal with bulls and stuff, but these ones can if you know what you're doing. So yeah, that's a little buggy for you. Should be up in the lead today. This is one of our CRC 30 bikes. Um, we have quite a few of these in our team. We probably, all up, I think we own 8, 11 mushroom bikes um, on the go at the moment. This is bike number 5. Bike number five is also 10 years old this year. She spent 10 years mustering at Narina. Um, yep, she looks a bit rough, but that little bike's still gone. Um, we're pretty big on our services and treating them all right. They still get the job done, don't you worry. They jump banks, do all sorts of bloody things. Um, these bikes, sort of, you can get a little look at them. They're a very slim line little bike. They're only small. They are. Uh, you don't need a big massive bike all the time to catch up with the fast cattle. These little bikes can hook and get in anywhere. They can get through mulga thickets, they can get through scrub, they can go up and down creeks. They're perfect for a cow, perfect for a lead, perfect for a wing. So a little CRF 230. Now we also have over here a four-wheeler. So this is a 10M500. This was actually a gift from my husband, bloody beauty of him. She looks a bit rough. You can see the plastics are a bit snapped and everything. That's from trees, sticks, logs, belting the shit out of me when I ride it. Also, when you're shouldering some cattle, don't do a lot of them here, but you get some that just want to, don't want to play ball. They tend to smack into your plastics. Just grab one, see how flimsy they are. But still, this bike's got a lot of a lot of push power, which is good. She um, she's a pretty smooth bike too. Out of all the four wheelers, I think they're becoming, from what I've heard, they're becoming one of the most popular. They're yeah, pretty all right bike. They can get up wing, wings, lead, tail, anywhere you want them to go really. Jump banks and you know, when I say banks, I mean creek banks. Marina has a few steep bastards. So yeah, now. I reckon the girls are just about here, so I'll time out. See ya.